For those that follow my channel, you'll know that I recently purchased a new Dell XPS 15 9750. Well, new to me. A newer version of this laptop has since replaced my model, and there are, of course, minor improvements. But that said, I'm pleased with the price that I paid for last year's model. Inspired by a couple of videos I saw from Dave2D, Sarah Dietschy, Tom the Tech Chap, I decided to keep an eye out for some deals on upgraded parts. Specifically, I wanted to take the RAM from 16 gigabytes to 32, upgrade the SSD from 500 gigabytes to a faster one terabyte model, and replace the slow and problematic Wi-Fi card included. I could have selected these upgrades when purchasing the computer, but as I was able to find, I would have spent more than what I paid for these parts. Also, I'm pretty sure I would have not seen the performance boost with the Dell supplied SSD, and I don't believe an improved Wi-Fi card was available. Now, first off, I want to put a disclaimer at the front of this video. I want to say that everything I did in this video was at my own risk. I just purchased this machine, so I've likely risked my warranty with Dell. If I did something wrong, like forgot to apply thermal paste to my CPU or forgot to disconnect the battery, I could have fried this computer. If you wish to perform the same upgrades, you do so at your own risk. Now, here's what you'll need. You'll need a T5 Torx screwdriver, a small Phillips screwdriver, some Q-tips, paper towels, 99% isopropyl alcohol, a USB drive with Windows 10 installation media installed on it, a driver for your replacement wireless card, also on a thumb drive. I know my videos are low tech when compared with Dave, Sarah, and Tom, but I wanted to document this process. I also wanted to combine the best from each tutorial. Sarah and Tom showed upgrading the RAM, SSD, and Wi-Fi card, and Dave has a great video about repasting the CPU and GPU on an earlier model Dell XPS. Anyway, let's get started. First thing you have to do is remove the 10 T5 Torx screws from the bottom panel. These are very tiny, so make sure you keep all your little screws organized. You'll notice I've placed my laptop on a small pillow. I did this to make sure I didn't get any scratches or swirl marks on the top panel. After all, this is still a new computer, even if I'm hacking it up. Next, you'll need to remove the two Phillips screws underneath the flap that covers your model number, service code, and serial number of your laptop. Don't ask me why this panel is necessary, it's just the way Dell does the XPS. The first time I pried off the bottom panel, it was a little more resistant, but this gets easier each time you do it. Next, make sure you detach the connector for the battery. In my case, I actually removed the entire battery just to be sure. The last thing you want to do is fry your motherboard because it still had power running through it. Once you have the battery removed, I removed each item I was going to upgrade. A single screw holds the SSD in place. Once removed, the SSD kind of pops up and you can easily pull it out of the receptacle. There is a thermal pad that sits on top of the SSD to dissipate heat away from the drive. Next, I remove my memory modules. There are two clips on either side of each. Push the clips outward and the modules pop up for easy removal. Next, I remove the Wi-Fi card. A single small Phillips screw and plate hold the card in place. The card pops up like all the other modules when you remove the screw and plate. Also, there are two tiny connectors for the primary and auxiliary antenna connectors. They're color-coded, so note the correct positions on the new card. Next, I remove the heat sink. It's held down with four Phillips screws. Hidden under a small piece of black tape is the fourth screw. It's close to the fan you see on the right-hand side of your screen. I use 99% isopropyl alcohol to remove the old thermal paste from the CPU and GPU. Don't forget to clean the underside of the heat sink as well. Q-tips and paper towels will work nicely for this job. I also replaced the four thermal pads that are also under the heat sink. I have no idea if the thermal pads I used are better than what was there, but they were thicker and seemed to be in better condition. Next, I put the thermal paste on the CPU and the GPU. I'm sure some of you will tell me that I used too much. You're probably right, but this little syringe was challenging to control the flow. My understanding is that you're better to use too much than not enough. In any case, I'll stick with this for now. If I open it up again, I might repaste it and try to get a little less. It certainly was better than what I had to begin with. Here's a photo of the Dell paste job for comparison. 
place the heat sink back on the correct spot. And as Dave2D will tell you, you have to trust you did okay. The mistake people make is to lift the heat sink and check the spread. Lifting the heat sink after you've placed it down can add bubbles to the thermal paste, which is obviously not great. Replace the screws. I'm not sure what its purpose is, but my guess is the tape might be vital, so I returned it to cover one of the screws next to the fan on the right side of your screen. Next, I replaced the Wi-Fi card. Sorry for the position of the camera. I replaced the Killer 1535 card that came with the laptop with an Intel AC9260 card. I'll have a link in the description. Remember, if you don't have an Ethernet connection, you should download the drivers for this card before you begin this process. Again, remember to match the antenna connectors to the right color. Once you get it into place and attach the antenna connectors, you can use the single screw and cover plate to hold it into place. Next, I installed the 1TB Samsung 970 SSD card. Again, a single screw held it in place. Don't forget to replace the thermal pad on top of the SSD. Lastly, I installed the 32GB DDR4 RAM modules, which replaced the 16GB the laptop came with. They snapped into place quickly enough, and if you order crucial memory as I did, the labels face down instead of up as you would expect. Remember, this laptop uses DDR4 RAM, so don't purchase anything else. I'll include the links of what I purchased in my description below. I reconnected my battery and closed up the case. So, what did I gain from these upgrades? Well, here's the speedtest.net results I got on the XPS 15 before I upgraded the Wi-Fi card. I also ran into some connectivity issues with this card, dropping my connections from time to time. Here are the speed results after the upgrade. Not super amazing, and maybe my tests were not exactly scientific, but it seems to be a better connection whenever I roam around the house. Now here is something really impressive. Take a look at the speeds I got with the original SSD. If all you ever had were physical hard drives before this, this would be certainly impressive, but check out the improvement I get with the new Samsung SSD. Not only does it give me double the storage, but tremendous gains in speed uh, in comparison with the previous drive. The jump from 16 gigabyte to 32 gigabyte of RAM was less of a noticeable difference. I might notice it more when running multiple applications or when I'm editing videos. Again, you do this upgrade at your own risk, but I'll say this, it was so worth it. Other people in my industry are always asking what laptop they should buy or what upgrades they should get. I'm a big believer in buying your computer, not for the software and needs that you have today, but instead purchase the laptop that will serve you well five years from now. If you choose to compromise and save a few bucks today, you might be shopping for your next computer a few years earlier than expected. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.